Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am finally here to do the tried and true tag. I was um, tagged by my fellow natural curly um, natural dame. She's such a sweetheart. Hey girl. So I am finally back to actually respond to that tag. Um, I kind of was procrastinating because I was kind of lazy and getting my stuff together and getting it out. But I decided um, today was a great day for it. So, y'all, let's get started. So, first I want to go over um, hair products. And then I will talk about my small um, makeup stash. And then I'll talk about skincare and then um, body care. So, um, my two, only I only picked out two items from my hair stash because I have several. I am a product junkie, but these are like my top, top choices that I've been using at least for more than six months and they always work no matter what. So without further ado, um, my two favorite things to actually co-wash and I guess you could say purify my hair with um, would be the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. I absolutely love this stuff. I went and I stocked up on this last weekend and I got like, I think like five bottles. So I really like this stuff. And um, the African Black Soap Purification Mask by Shea Moisture. Really, really love this stuff. This is actually my last jar and I don't really have that much left so I need to stock back up on this right here. So these two, they just always work for me and my hair absolutely loves them. So next we will talk about my leave-ins. Um, these leave-ins right here, they never fail me. Um, and they are also multi-purpose. I use them as a leave-in and as um, refreshers, uh, moisturizers. My hair absolutely loves them and they do not contain any glycerin. So I absolutely love that about these two products. Um, the one that I've been using the longest out of the two is the Oyen Hairdo. I have been using this ever since I went natural and it's almost two years for me. It'll be two years next month, as a matter of fact. So love this stuff right here. And the it was the Coily Head Chick um, Ultimate Hair Treat, but now the company is named Smooth Naturals. Um, and this stuff right here is awesome. Works great and it smells great. So I would have to say my tried and trues are definitely these two right here. So now we'll talk about my deep conditioners. Um, these two right here, again, I have been using ever since I went natural and I always get great results when I use these um, two deep conditioners. It is the Basque Cacao Bark. You guys know how I feel about this stuff right here. It will always be in my stash. Um, it always responds well to my hair. And the Curl Rehab by Curl Junkie, strawberry scent. Yep, I got the big daddy because this stuff is that serious for me. Um, a lot of people too also use this as a leave-in. I've tried it as a leave-in. It was fine, it worked just fine as a leave-in as well, but I really love it um, as the DC. So, yep, love that stuff. So, now let's talk about my favorite, I guess you could say, things for me to twist with. Um, this right here, <laughs> I have been using forever and a day. It always gives me great results and I love the way that it smells. It's the Oyen Handmade Whipped Pudding and, um, it typically comes in an eight ounce, but last Black Friday, she was running a special on, um, the whipped pudding and she offered it in 16 ounces. So hopefully she'll do the same thing again this year. I absolutely love this product for my hair and I'll actually use this as a, leave-in like for the winter time for my uh, wash and goes I'll use this as a leave-in and I'll also use it to twist with and another fave of mine that just always gives me great results always leaves my hair really moisturized is the Basque Palm Tapioca um, when I first got this you guys I didn't like the way that it smelled I don't know maybe I was just going through something but I absolutely love this stuff now the smell doesn't bother me and um, it's really rich and yeah, this stuff works really well for my hair. So those are the tried and true products that I absolutely love to twist with. So now we're going to talk about um, my butters and I guess you could say like my um, 
pomade type situations. Um, this company right here I've been using for about, I want to say about a year. And it's all things au natural. Her natty butter is the truth, y'all. I love this stuff. It goes on. It's, it's a really light, very whipped butter. And it goes on like a frosting. Like it just it just melts into my hair. But let me tell you, it packs a powerful punch. And it smells really good. So um, I absolutely love this stuff. Grade A. Yes, this stuff right here. And I'm also in love with the Smooth Naturals Shine and Seal. This stuff right here is the truth as well. I wish that she offered it in 8 ounces because I would totally, totally stock up. But... For now, it's just in four ounces and um, it works wonders on my hair. It leaves a great shine. It smells great and um, it's really good for sealing. So yeah, definitely my tried and true. So next I will talk about my stylers that I use for my wash and goes. You guys already know how I feel <laughs> about this stuff right here. Um, I love the Eco Styler Gel, um, Argon Oil preferably. This stuff is great for my wash and goes. It gives my hair um, lasting hold. Um, and the crunch isn't so bad for me. I have to scrunch out the crunch, but I'm fine with that because it gives me, um, it gives longevity for my styles because I only style my hair um, once a week, you know, major styling. Right now, I put it up in a puff and I'm fine with that. But this right here, I have been using since day one. Day one, you guys. However... This has gotten knocked down to number two as my tried and true simply because I'm learning that my hair is, um, it really doesn't care for glycerin all that much. And I don't think that I was paying attention to that. And this product totally has glycerin in it. And it also has um, a wheat protein. Yeah, hydrolyzed wheat protein in this product. So I've been looking for sort of like a substitute and I totally found it, you guys. So... This right here is absolutely number one for me now. It is the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. This is the old formula. And as you can see right here, it's like right there. So I probably got like three more uses out of this bottle. And I did order um, from the new company. The wife has opened up her own company now. And she actually retained the same ingredients for um, the Curly Magic. And now it's just a different name, but the exact same stuff in the container. So I'm excited to try that and to make sure that it does match up to um, this Curly Magic. But this stuff right here is the truth. If you have not tried it, I highly recommend it. If you're looking for a gel that is all natural, does not have any glycerin, um, no protein, none of the yucky stuff, this stuff right here will give you life. I promise you. So um, it's 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 pricey. It cost me, I want to say it was 20, 25 bucks, but it doesn't take a lot. Like for each section, I only give it a good two pumps and I'm good. And it gives me um, several days with my hairstyle. I can get like seven day wash and go with this stuff. So yeah, tried and true for sure. Next, I want to talk about things that I use to um, control my edges or to do this puff, like this puff that I did today. And uh, once again, we go back to the Eco Styler Gel. I will definitely use this more so for my puffs and like to kind of like slick my hair back versus doing the wash and goes, especially when we get into the colder months. You know, I really don't care to have that glycerin in my hair um, because it, it tends to dry it out. So, yep, tried and true for, you know, taming the edges and slicking back my hair. And you guys know that recently I have fallen in love with the uh, Curls Control Paste. Um, preferably now is the Blueberry Bl Bliss Curl Control Paste. I absolutely love this stuff. It does what it needs to do for my edges and um, it works. I mean, it just works and it smells really good too. So um, that's it for the hair stuff. Now, I'm trying not to make this video too long, you guys. So now let's get into my skincare. Um, my skincare is very limited. I, I have a few um, things that I have found that works for me and I have stuck with those items. So first, I wanna talk about the um, Freeman's Clay Mask. And as you can see, this one is almost gone, but it's cool because I have some more. I have like two more of these. I learned about these two products um, 
from Kinky Curly Coily Me, uh, Black is Beautiful. She raved about these masks, and I absolutely see why. Um, I actually did one today with the avocado and oatmeal, and this stuff works wonders for my skin. I absolutely love this stuff right here. The other thing that I use to cleanse my face with, and I keep it in my shower, is the Desert Essence um, Thoroughly Clean Face Wash, and it's for the oily and combination skin. I love this stuff right here. Um, when I'm in a rush um, in the mornings and I still want to get a nice, deep cleansing for my face, I absolutely reach for this stuff right here. I love it. I have been using it for over a year now, and it works wonders. So, to moisturize my skin, um, I've only found one that I really, really like, and it's the Cream & Cocoa Honeyed Green Tea and Hibiscus Tony Moisturizer. And I don't have a whole lot of this left, but I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like right there. However, I have a, this is two ounces, I have a four ounce bottle in my closet when I run out of this. So I absolutely love this stuff. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. When I look for a moisturizer for my skin, I don't want something that is going to leave my face feeling greasy because I already have oily skin. However, I want something that's going to moisturize my face and you know, give me nice elasticity, you know, to where I smile. It doesn't feel like my face is about to crack because it's so dried out. So this stuff right here gets the job done every time, all the time. Okie dokie. So now I will go on to my favorite body products. I absolutely love body butters, you guys, and anything that smells good. So from Bath and Body Works, I have totally fallen in love with the Winter Candy Apple triple moisture body cream as you can see that's almost gone and this stuff is seasonal so I'm almost out of it you guys hold on for one second let me turn this air on it is burning up okay sorry about that I'm back but this stuff right here is awesome sauce the smell it lasts all day long and I absolutely love it I can't wait for the holidays to come around again because I'm gonna stock up on these bad boys um, another one that I absolutely love is the Bubble Bistro Body Butters. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. Um, like I was saying, um, the Bubble Bistro Body Butters, I absolutely love these. I have been using these body butters for three years now. Um, I am a total faithful customer. I can't go into her store um, when I was living in Memphis, I couldn't go into her store and purchase a product without spending $100. Easy. Very easy. So, Grape is my favorite um, right now. And, um, yeah, tried and true for sure. So, last but not least, I want to talk about the little bit of makeup that I do have. Um, I'm not really a big makeup person. But when I do want to wear some makeup or get, you know, dolled up, I like to reach for my little MAC stash. And my two tried and true lipsticks are my Up the Amp. And looks like that really nice, pretty color. And my Heroin. It was a limited edition at first, but they bought it back to the permanent line. Very pretty purple. Absolutely love these two. And then my Colossal um, Eyelash Makeup by Maybelline. I absolutely love this stuff. Okay, you guys. And anytime I want to reach for um, some eyeshadow, I love the Sephora little crayons. And I have the Glittery Purple. It's one of my favorites. And it looks like that goes on nice and smooth and it lasts all day long and I must say that when I need like a nice lip gloss I have been wearing this oh my goodness for years like seven six seven eight years it is the Victoria's Secret lip gloss I'm almost out of this one it is the the flavor is candied and I mean it lasts all day long you know even when you eat so yeah so, you guys, that is my tried and true. Sorry it took me so long to um, get it out. I, um, I was trying to think of people that I could tag. I'm not sure who all has done this uh, tag, but I want to tag Diva Deb 
and VPJ for the tried and true. So um, that is it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that everyone.